Hi everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video is my every other month inventory video, but before I start that, I'm going to show you uh, a project my brother's got going on. He's planning on replacing this old fence here with a locust fence, and uh, as everybody knows, locust doesn't rot, and uh, so it should last a long time once he builds it. If he doesn't have it built by the end of summer and it's still sitting here, it's getting turned into firewood. So back to the video. Got uh, this pile right here. Um, as you can see, it's cut kind of shorter than uh, what I normally cut. It's about 12, 14 inch average. Customer uh, usually orders about six or eight truckloads a year. And he likes to cut short and he pre-buys. So once this is split, right into my truck here and deliver to them in the, the next month or two it should be ready by the fall now over here is uh, what I used to call my um, main splitting area now I'm calling it bay number one uh, there's probably about four or five truckloads in there that I'm currently selling that's the dry stuff I got so if anybody buys which I haven't been selling much lately that's where I get it from. Then you can see some of the boiler piles down along our driveway. They're about one third of capacity right now. And of course, the scrap metal pile hasn't changed because the price hasn't changed. Over here, this pile has been here since last summer, and uh, I will be selling this in the fall. Uh, starting to add dry stuff to it in here just because I'm running out of room to store the wood. But all this is oak and uh, cherry, walnut, all good stuff. Like I said, it'll be dry in the fall. And I think this uh, mulberry's been here since May and it, it's dry. I got JPF and Floyd Mats out here splitting some of this oak that'll be ready in the fall. It's got a little bit of bark still on it. I want to get, let it sit. Um, I'll be stopping uh, adding wood to this area but at the end of May. So then we'll give it all summer to dry. Next size pile there, I'll give you a better view of it here in a minute. But he's splitting and then throwing it up high. We're kind of short on pallets. So you can see he's got this uh, wheelbarrow here. That's where our junk wood's going. Most of that pieces are pretty good, so we probably won't, won't have very much. Come back to the video. You can kind of see the size of the pile here. I'll give you a better angle of it here in a minute. But here's the junk wood that uh, will be burning in our stove kind of empty now. We burn It was full and we burn it all winter. And over here we got uh, bay number one. I mean bay number two. We used to call it my main dry storage area. And you can see it's pretty full. I'll give you another view of that in a second. And then what we got right here is uh, we split some longer cut pieces and uh, we threw them here on this tarp so they stay clean. We uh, get some uh, twine and uh, make uh, bundles out of it. I usually sell about 180, 200 of them a year. So uh, this is only going to be like 30 or 40 bundles right there. Here's some more bundles right there. And then uh, bay number two, formerly known as uh, main dry splitting or main dry storage area, and uh, that's what I'm going to be selling for summer campfire wood. We just finished splitting that. A lot of it's ash, oak, cherry, all kinds of good stuff. And uh, that should last me through the summer. And I guess there's probably 20 truckloads there, not including the stuff that's around the perimeter, which won't be uh, dry until January. Then here's uh, bay number one again. Just give you a kind of a side angle how, how big it is. And then uh, there's JPF's uh, backup 
quad trailer, uh, JVF employee Jason's trailer. Uh, just waiting for him to put a new tire on it. And then here's some more junk wood will be burning. This will be full too, and we'll burn it all. And now I'm going to jump on the quad, give you a, another angle of that big pile over there, and uh, take you out back where there's more stuff. You can see it's a pretty decent pile. You can see Matt over there splitting and throwing it up high. But I would say that pile right there is enough to last me like through October. And then uh, we'd, we'll probably start running out like normal. And then maybe have to tap into that again over there. But as you can see, he's whipping the pile and building it up nice and high. So I'm going to stop adding to that pile on uh, May 31st. May have already said that. As you can see, this is totally unscripted. And here's another angle of it. Nice size pile, I'd have to say. And then there's this pile over here, which is probably one and a half truck loads. I've been getting a lot of boiler wood lately, really cleaning out the neighbor's woods and making it look nice. Another pile here. And here's my uh, bundle wood I sell in the driveway. That's pretty full for how much I sell. That, that it's just a guessing game of how much we'll sell out here. That might make it to Memorial, to Memorial Day and then be sold out. Or it might make it all summer. You never know. And back here is my driveway storage area. And this is where I keep my hickory. This is a pile I'm currently selling off of. Um, if just my number one customer just it keeps buying, this will probably last them through summer. And then I'll have to start taking some from that pile, which will probably get them till Christmas time. And then here's my other pile of it, which will probably take them into next year. Um, if I come across any hickory in the woods, this is where I'll be adding it to. And then I'm just going to rotate, rotate all the piles. And back here we got a big, uh, another big pile, all, uh, all on pallets. I think they're like eight pallets long right now and maybe four deep. And uh, at least six foot high there in the middle. Just a mix of everything. You know there's elm, black locust, cherry, maple, walnut. Here's some down here. And you can see, like on the other stacks, we build walls, and then, then then we just have to throw it on there, as opposed to stacking everything. The stacking takes time, and time is money. There are prickers over here, but this kind of gives you 
a back view of it. So it's a decent sized pile. All this is what I'm building for my inventory for 2017 and 18. So fall of, like October of 2017, we will be tapping into this pile. And my goal is to have it built up all the way out to the uh, hickory piles. And just go ahead and walk around. I'll show you where we. We, we always got to have a pile for junk wood, and that's what that is right there. That's what we'll be burning. We've been keeping those on pallets, too. So, I guess with that, that concludes today's video. I know it's kind of long, but I hope you enjoy it. And as always, like Joe's Premium Firewood on Facebook, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.